All right, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. So we're here in Key West for the championship races, and this is the captain's meeting, physical, and check-in. We're gonna be hanging out today with Rolling Dirty Offshore. This is Clyde right here, and he was kind enough to invite us along for the ride. Hello. It's already, it's already down there. <laughs> Zero. That's where it's at. That's him. Cool. What they did in that cockpit was a pretty textbook. The composure they kept, they did everything right. The regulators. They make sure each other was okay before they open that lid. In fact, my guys were under there trying to turn their hatch and uh, he was actually holding it shut because he knew his buddy wasn't ready yet. You guys, I just want to say, I really appreciate the way you guys performed. Everything went right and uh, really happy for you guys. So what classes are you in? I race class three. Class three? This I'm is an 85 mile an hour breakout class. Okay. So you can't uh, it'll go over 85. You know, if you do, you can do it for like 0.3 seconds. And uh, it's just a bracketed class. You know, it's a most production classes, class two, you know, class three, four, five, six, and seven are for your average working man class, you know. It's, uh, you know, they, they limit our speed. You know, you can do anything you want as far as motors, anything like that. It, the classes are just divided by, you know, a boat that's got a canopy that's a single engine boat or an open boat that's got twin engines. They, they separate us that way. So, it has to be an inboard boat. No, it can be outboard. Okay. You know, you could have, you know like a, a twin outboard boat would be in class four, but a twin inboard boat would be in class four. Uh, my class, uh, class I race in is a single engine class but with a canopy okay there's a, a you know class five and six are single engine boats any any restrictions on what you can do to the board modify it nope oh. a lot is just the speed you yeah, can't like pass 85 class, miles an hour class seven is 21 foot or less with a single outboard class five is 28 foot or less single inboard class or no that was class six class five is 28 foot over anything you want single engine class three is uh what i mean class four is uh v bottom twin engine class three is v bottom canopy single engine you know they don't want a 100 mile an hour boat to go out and race against the boat that's yeah you know that's a 75 80 mile an hour boat my boat here you know it, it could run you know mid 90s in a mid 90 class but they allow it to run in an 85 mile an hour class you know because uh we're a new team with this boat i'm you know i've been racing for you know quite some time now so you know it's uh you know they they understand that as long as we don't go past 85 you know that's why they built a class for it you know, there's about four or five boats that do race in this class um you know they're not all here right now but uh there, there are they are out there and well, hopefully you know it gives it gives people like me and you and uh the working guy a, a place to race that class v1 you know they run a 525 motor in it okay. it's a 30 phantom this is a 32 phantom you know that boat they're to campaign that boat for a whole season even though it's almost identical to my boat the class that they race you know that class you're going to spend you know upwards of 60 70 thousand dollars a year to campaign that boat to to some races this boat here you know you're going to spend somewhere around twenty five thirty thousand dollars to run a season so what are what are some things you guys are doing now to prep uh we put the propeller on we get that taken care of we put the drain plug in you always have to have a prop cover on the boat anywhere anytime the props on the boat in the pits you have to have the cover on um i have my uh crew chief sean he goes over everything in the morning 
on the boat. Those oh, things, shit. even though we tightened it up last, tight, got everything tight last night. We uh, just look for the thing that's hard, the hardest in this sport is the littlest things take you out of the, the thing. You have to finish the race to win the race. So uh, it's always just some some little thing. We go over all the hoses, just. A lot of things that happen with boating and boats and boat motors is uh, preventable. You know, you uh, you be running and lose water pressure it's because a hose clamp came off. Well, that hose clamp, you know, might have had issues the day before, but you just never noticed it. You know, so we go over and just double check everything. You know, how many gallons are going to be put in the boat today? Uh, we put 40 gallons of fuel in the boat to run eight laps. What am I? What engine is this? He said 509 cubic inch spec motor. This motor actually will. Uh, I could race in the mod V, which is the modified uh, V bottom class, and uh, we we probably will at some point. But right at the moment, we're still you know we're we're learning the boat, and getting our setups down, and you know trying to come together as a team. You know. Okay. Never used a potty before. Hold it so that we can wrap up the paper back. I've never used a potty before. But it's part of my experience of bringing out the best footage. Okay, now I'm rolling my paper. Who is that one? They closed it. Yeah. All right, guys. If you haven't already noticed, it's race day, and we're gonna be hanging out with Rolling Dirty Offshore and their 32 Phantom. Thanks to Clyde, he's giving us a in-depth look of how it is to operate a race boat and how it is to manage the whole team. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that drone footage. Now we're getting, we're gonna go to the pits or we're gonna go to the bleachers where we can get front row seats of the race. Hey, leave that guy alone. Oh. VIP treatment. Watch your tongue when you start. Don't turn your back on me. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs>
have the spectator boats on the west side of this four point, just short of four and a half mile course. All right, we're looking at your leaders coming out in front of Fort Zachary Taylor back into the chute heading northbound. Our lead boats coming here in front of the building crowd at the Outer Mall at Truman Annex. Live coverage of the 2021 Race World Offshore Key West World Championships. Presented by Cigarette Racing. It looks like Team Woody continuing to run strong here, fellas. Yeah, they seem to really be holding their speed coming down the home stretch here. They were saying that when you slow down, you're causing that slow, but if you go fast, you're skimming right over top of it. There they are, the Lady Crab with the early lead. Simmons racing. Leading his last 400 right by them. the story the saying goes it's always something boats back on the trailer and we here it is the US 2021 purpose to win did the best we could Key West uh, has allured us again we're gonna walk back to the pits and I believe the catamaran should be racing soon right uh, catamarans are uh, being bought and being stopped and everybody only recognizes me because I wear the black one though not one person 
I wear the pink one. It's like you hear both eyes. Oh, oh, oh. That's a right there. You said I was the first person yesterday to say that. Yesterday. At this event. At this event. And I said it when I left the hotel room. When I left the hotel room, I'm like, you know what, babe? I'm gonna take a hat. To the first person who ever who says both vibes, they're gonna get the hat. He walked up both vibes. I'm like, here's your hat. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. That's that. watching all the way to the end comment down OG because you're definitely an OG if you watch this 30 40 minute video but I know you enjoyed it because you got a, a behind the scene footage of a real race boat team and it's exciting he wants to put me in a race next season at least one race and if I win we're gonna we're gonna race the next the following race so stay tuned for that like comment subscribe share we'll see you in the next one peace Don't be scared to touch him, babe. I'm not. Just don't let him nip you. Good boy. You're my favorite.